Every great journey begins with a small step, the goal to fly higher than before. But how did it all start? Having participated in the Air Cargo Challenge twice since 2017, ASAT's Aeronautics Department was ready to take on the challenge after ACC 2021 was announced. Having gained valuable experience after the design, construction and flights of its previous aircraft, they were more excited than ever to begin designing a new project. The first step of the design process was to examine the regulations. The mission this time was to carry medical payload and specifically blood bags to a remote location. The whole concept was to carry as much weight as possible to the maximum distance in two minutes. The size of the aircraft was also restricted as it must fit inside a rhombus-shaped box of specific dimensions. The whole team gathered to discuss about the possible aircraft configurations. Taking into account the restrictions, we first defined them in parameters, while also implementing our own design preferences, based on previous experience. A first weight estimation was performed, which required a close cooperation between the aerodynamics, design and structural subsystems. Thus, after the mission assessment finished, we had the first estimation of the dimension of the aircraft and the total weight. Advancing into the conceptual design phase, we had to closely examine the dimensional restrictions placed by the regulations. You could say that it was one of the main design guidelines, but also one of the biggest difficulties we encountered. It limited our design choices because it acted restrictively on the satisfactory stability of the aircraft configurations. Moving on, we utilized low fidelity software named XFLR5 in order to perform aerodynamic analysis for the airfoil selection. After a lot of studies, we chose the airfoil Epler 422 for the wing, which is highly cumbered. This decision was based on a number of criteria such as a high lift coefficient in order to lift as much weight as possible. Moreover, the main tool used by the team of the aerodynamic design was based on Roscom's bibliography for the calculation of the aerodynamic coefficients. This tool was a very crucial part of the design and could be used in every design phase while also providing us with satisfying results as opposed to being low fidelity. Airless most distinctive design feature it is wings and tails elliptical geometry. Although during the conceptual design phase the wings geometry was said to be tempered this optimization was considered appropriate to achieve a lift distribution and an aerodynamic behavior closer to the ideal one. After a variety of geometries were tested, the final wing configuration was created. It consists of a wing with elliptical tips, which is geometrically achieved by intersecting two identical ellipses, left and right, at the 75% of the wing's root chord. The only dimension that changed during the conversion to the elliptical geometry was the length of the rectangular section in the middle of the wing. That was essential in order to keep the planform area unvaried. The same optimization procedure was followed both for the horizontal and vertical stabilizers configurations, with the only difference being found in the fully elliptical area of the horizontal tail. Everything was moving smoothly until January 2021. With the design finished, the team was ready to begin the construction, until... Everything had to be put aside. The pandemic had already affected our team greatly. At the time it broke out, it got us unprepared. We were unable to come together for meetings, and most importantly, we couldn't get into our lab. We had to adapt to the situation, but we were really hoping that after the end of the first wave, the competition would take place normally. Our hopes had to be demolished when the postponement was announced in January. It was something we expected, but we were hoping it wouldn't happen. That meant that our team would change a lot until the competition in 2022, since a lot of members would leave and new ones entered later on. It will also demotivate us a little, since we were really excited for the competition in 2021. On the upside, it gave us more time to prepare. In the meantime, we also found time to advance the design of our other projects. In late autumn, we came back more motivated than ever to continue our fight for ACC 2022. Or maybe not so fast. A lot of logistical difficulties 
would make it hard for the team to begin the construction as soon as they had planned. As a student team, we are funded by sponsorships, which means that we are, must be able to find our own sponsors. That made it difficult for us to order the equipment and consumables we need for the manufacturing of our UAVs. A lot of orders were late, which made it hard for us to continue. Before the construction, we had a lot of trouble finding machinery companies that would be able to cut the props for our mold. A lot of them didn't have the CNC machines required, or they were not fit for the dimensions we needed. This slowed down the process a lot, since without the props, we couldn't begin the construction. We also couldn't find a company that would be able to cut carbon fiber parts. Cutting carbon fiber is a quite dangerous process, and without a company to do it for us, the members of our structural subsystem had to do it themselves, wearing of course protective suits, masks, gloves and goggles. After many difficulties, the team was finally ready to bring Aeolus to life. Aeolus construction began with the pattern making process. Every external geometry of the aircraft was carved as a positive pattern mold with a CNC router on XPS foam, while the foam was later sealed with a polyester resin so as to create a smooth surface finish. Following the pattern making process was the mold making process. Every positive pattern was transformed into a negative mold with gel coat reinforced with fiberglass, thus producing our final infusion mold. In total, we had 15 molds for the vacuum infusion process, which was utilized in order to produce the skins of the aircraft. In the meantime, plates of carbon fiber and PVC foam core were infused with resin in order to manufacture the internal structural members of Eolus. With all that being said, we proceeded into the final assembly of every structural member and part of the aircraft, using glass fiber reinforced epoxy. At this point, we need to emphasize that during the assembly we were extremely careful about the weight of every part so that it wouldn't differ from the estimated values from the detail design phase. After a lot of work and a lot of setbacks, the time finally came for the team to see Aeolus fly. Aeolus flight gave us the opportunity to test everything we have been working on for so long. It made us confident that our UAV will perform its mission and make us proud in Munich. But most importantly, it gave us this amazing feeling you get when you actually see your aircraft fly, which is something that can't be described by words.
motor needs, our team is ready for the final stop, Munich. Having made mistakes, learned from them, but also having fun along the way, ACC has so far been an experience that changed us and made us wiser. The team is eager for the competition, hoping that Elus will fly them higher than ever before. It has been a long way and the road hasn't been easy, but as this journey is slowly coming to its end, one can't help but wonder, is it really the destination that matters?